Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Playing some Izanami today, regrettably, because I hate this character. I hate her with a passion. I, I absolutely hate this character. And just in case I forgot to mention it, because I might have, sometimes I forget. Um, I hate Izanami. Yeah, that's like the main thing. It's like, I just don't like her. And like the reason why I don't like her, because a lot of you guys are probably confused about that. The main reason I don't like her is because of how much I don't like her. Like, it's a... I just really don't like her, you know what I mean? Like, she's just so stupid the way she walks and the way she just... Like, why does that thing come back, you know what I mean? Like, why does that come back? It makes it impossible to hit autos. Anyways, oh, okay. Jokes aside, why am I playing Iza? I don't know, man. I just looked at my uh, recent videos and I was like, I haven't played a Hunter in a bit. Unless, maybe I looked at it wrong. I think I played Nut. I think I played Nut. But other than that, I haven't played a Hunter in a bit. And I don't even have an Izanami video up, I don't think. Um, I'm pretty sure I typed in Izanami, which, dude, this thing lies to me sometimes. I swear it lies to me. But I typed in Izanami on my uh, YouTube, and the only thing I saw was a Scotty versus Izanami game, which you could imagine how Scotty isn't Izanami. So, that's why I'm playing this character. Wait, my two wooden level, what the? Bro, I pressed F2, you know, the thing that levels up my, my 2 ability, like, 35 times. Maybe my key is sticking. But, um, yeah, we're gonna be playing some Izanami today, even though I don't like her. But, I haven't played a hunt that many Hunters recently, and also I don't have an Iza video, so... It seems like decent content for you guys. I don't know what I'm gonna thumbnail or title this bad boy, but... I can only imagine it's gonna be something cringe. Oh, I didn't pop my multi pot. I thought I double double potted there. I thought I was slurped up. Clearly not. All right, I don't really want to like. I want to clear the full wave. You know what I mean? But oh, oh. oh. excuse me. What the heck, man? Is Erlong OP? I mean, to be fair, this is my first game on, so you know that's not really just Izanami's fault. And by Izanami's fault, I mean my Izanami, like my skill on this character. It's not really Iza's fault. Um, I'm kind of just, my reaction time isn't super great right now. But, what I will say is, I did not expect that dude to just come out the cup blasting me, bro. I did not expect that guy to just eat my soul alive like that. That dude is a savage, man. What the heck? I also just haven't been playing Duel, which is no secret. I don't like to, like, hide things from you guys. So, I've been telling you guys this. I might have to ult this or something, dude. Like, I might actually have to. Nope, he didn't contest. Anyways, I don't keep it a secret from you guys. I've kind of lost a little bit of my duel passion. Which, um, it sounds sad. It's like, oh, Jesse's gonna quit playing duel, or like, he's gonna... Am I even supposed to level the two? Probably not. I'm gonna level the one. Um, I'm not gonna quit playing duel. And also, it's, it's a temporary thing. I've lost my passion for duel many times in the past. It's like, usually when the meta is stale, or I just hate the meta, like... Like, Mannequin Scepter, Starter Item meta, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Um, but so my point is, is I have hated duel many periods of my life and we, we come back, we come back stronger than ever. But, um, for right this moment, I don't know, man, I don't play any duel off, off stream, off, off tubers. I don't, uh, I pretty much just. Oh, dude. Is Erlong OP? I'm just kidding. He's not OP. He is a strong character though. And actually, I don't like this matchup to be honest with you guys. <clears throat> I was going to uh, mention that in the beginning, but then I kept yapping. I kept yapping about some other crap. I forget what it was already. I was yapping about how I hate Iza, Iza Nami, but this matchup actually sucks. Um, the only thing, or Iza can win this, but it's by snowballing really hard. Like, you have to get really ahead early game, and like, I kind of died, so... <laughs> I am not... I am not super hopeful about this game, to say the least, but... I'm not giving up, man. We can still win this, okay? I'm not giving up. But Erlong is a character that is more than capable of beating an Izanami, I promise you that. And, um, I am not a very good Izanami player, so even if this guy isn't a very good Erlong player, still probably gonna be a better performance than me on the Iza. Because, well, let's be real, how do you even, how do you even misplay as Erlong, you know what I mean? How do you even misplay that character? And you would say, how do you misplay Iza either? Well, you position inappropriately, like I did on the first wave. You guys remember that? 
Alright, so we ulted the red, and we ulted him. Got a little bit of poke on him. Something that I would make fun of, by the way. If an Izanami did that to me, I'd be like, This dude's ulting for the red buff? Oh my god, what a cringe lord. I'd definitely make fun of that. But, um... We're the Iza, so we're not going to make fun of Iza for, for doing that. I understand why she did it. Maybe she was scared, bro. You know what I mean? Maybe she was a little bit intimidated. Sometimes you just got to think about the other person, okay? Dude, can I just, like, blast this dude right now or what? Oh my god, his ult was about to bust, bro. He was about to coom. He's about to he's about to boost. Boosto! Thank god I killed him there. Put that bad boy down. Cause he I think I die there if his ult goes off, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Am I stupid? Maybe I am stupid. Alright, I'm gonna pick this this item up. I'm gonna pick this item up. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Um so why are we going XE instead of crit or Aussie? We're going XE because he's rushing defense. He's a warrior. And he's a warrior with a shield. What is that? Oh, that's my Chester. I thought it was a backing animation. Um, he is a warrior with a lot of prot. We got pin. He is a warrior with a shield. Green XE has anti-shield. He is a warrior with healing. Green XE has healing. So there's like 17 thousand and a half and a half different reasonings for why we're doing what we're doing here dude how is this brosif not dead right now i actually can't land isa autos like it's impossible i mean i just can't land hunter autos in general don't get me wrong but isa autos especially this character is just so difficult man like all the izanami players must just be like really good players like the best the best in order to, in order to pilot such a such a difficult character that was sarcasm by the way all right i had to i had to sneeze man i snezzed snooze we're going into defense i don't think i really need to explain that part we're going into defense to defend our body from the onslaught of the enemy here um, and we're going the one that has attack speed because it feels the best for boxing and we're going to be going a silver branch as well for those people that are worried about dude my f2 is sticking like i actually can't level my two ability with that. i have to click it like eight times <laughs> it's actually uh it's sticking that sucks i need a new keyboard man oh wait he's not leveling his three that just hit me i want him to hit me with pen okay so he's leveling his one then all right so that's why he's so difficult to box, because Erlong 1 is actually impossible to trade with. Okay, I actually secured that pretty late, to be honest with you. But I knew I could out-secure him, even though I did it poorly. I knew I could out-secure him there because of the information I was given. With, uh, you know, knowing that he doesn't have points into his 3 or his 2. Also, that they're probably on cooldown there, to be honest. But um, he doesn't have points in his 2 or 3, so he doesn't have very good buff secure, so... I figured I could just kind of kill that in front of him. And I obviously could if I ulted it, right? That's a no-brainer. no, no, no brainer. But um, I also can if I don't ult it because of the information that I was given, right? So after this item, what are we going to be going? And also, what relic are we going to be going? We could be going thorns to come to fight him in place. We could be going beads for his measurable amount of CC. Could go sunder. Because sunder? <laughs> like... I don't know. <laughs> like, Sunders is a cool... He was like a cool guy kind of thing to do. A death sentence. But, like, am I a cool guy, though? I, I don't really feel like a cool guy sometimes. Oh. Hello. Hello there. But, yeah, dude. It sucks, man. Just random depressing thought. It sucks, like, not caring that much about Duel anymore. I wish they would just remove the bands. And I also wish Smite 2 would come out. And I also wish Duel would be in it. Blah, 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 blah. It just feels stale. This month just feels stale, guys. Hopefully, over time, we'll uh, get our passion back. No way, bro went Toxic Blade. He went his Toxic Blade. For what reason, though? I mean, don't get me wrong. Toxic still has a little bit of value because the stats are, I mean, they're decent, I guess. 
the stats are decent and it does remove some of my attack speed but like i'm gonna be well above cap attack speed so he's just removing power from silver branch which isn't that deep and uh i don't have any healing so i'm assuming that he's assuming and i'm assuming that he's a <laughs> okay he, i'm assuming that he is going to uh think that i'm gonna go like in the last item aussie or something which i'm actually not going to do i'm just gonna burst this dude down like a chimichanga i'm gonna hit him with that one two three step that cha-cha slide Why did it lag like that, first of all, and why did he surrender and then leave the game? Because when they turn level 1 like that, that's how you know they, they left the game. He left the game because I killed him one time right there. We were 1-1 one one at that point. But, like, I, you guys think, did you guys notice how between my green Xy and my horrific bro healed for, like, nothing? It was like a, he either healed for, like, literally nothing or... Because I'm pretty sure anti-heal has a cap these days, I'm pretty sure, right? So, unless it's like just from items and horrific can go over the cap, I'm not sure. But either way, even if it doesn't, even if it does have a cap, and he, uh, it only goes up to 80%, he still healed for nothing, bro. It was like 20% of that tiny little baby heal, right? So, uh, that guy left, so I think I'm safe to requeue. queue So, I'm going to go ahead and requeue queue um, and play some more as Nami for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll go ahead and skip you guys into it. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, we're off into game two. Wait, is my microphone like hella close? Oh, oh my God. Did that make noise for you guys? I'm so sorry. Oops. Oops. Oh my God. Please don't hate me. Okay. Anyways, picked a new skin. Feeling like being a little bobblehead. Bro, what the? <laughs> I've never used this skin in my life. Bro, what? Oh, wait, actually, I feel like I have used this skin because isn't this what uh, it looks like in uh, DKO? That like other game that high res came out with that's like supposed to be like smash bros or whatever uh divine knockout yeah that 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 thing anyways we're walking we're walking i want to i want to do this real quick i'm not going to do this for very long because i know it's kind of disorienting and like hurts some people's eyes and whatnot so i'm not gonna do it for very long but look at my my waddle bro i'll be i'll be walking with some fierceness oh my god there's a lancelot there okay Turn that back on. I'm not used to my opponent actually just being at the red buff. They're usually like just waiting over here like a criminal trying to sneak invade me. Oh my god, did I already feel like I'm gonna miss these auto attacks? You know, I'm such a short little little plump head. I got the I got this head on me. Got this head on me. Wait. Bound gauntlet. What? How dare you? I'm gonna level my one, but I'm gonna put an extra point into my thingamabobby. Oh, brother. How do you survive my onslaught of attacks? How does that even make sense? Like, I literally popped my things, and he didn't just instantaneously implode into smithereen. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Like, die. Just die. Right, I'm gonna go get this red buff if that's cool with you. Or if it's not cool with you, I really don't care that much, actually, how you feel about it. Whop, 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 whop. Ooh, okay, alright, we got ourselves a red belt. Look at how dumb we look, bro. My fidget spinner. Alright, we're gonna sell one of my pots. Sell some of our pot, our marijuana. And then we're gonna dash in a base. We're gonna hit him with that sticky icky. That one, two, three step. One, two, three, one, two, three. Bro, what am I gonna title and thumbnail this video? My most hated hunter? I hate Izanami? Most cringe hunter? I went against a blink Lancelot? Dude, I need, I need ideas, man. Where's my passion, bro? I just lost my passion. Not for YouTube. I've been thinking about things I could do, like Joust content or... Being excited for when Smite 2 comes out and uploading content on that. Like I'm not I'm not losing my drive for YouTube necessarily, but Duel just sucks, man. What a what a bad game mode, you know what I mean? Oh, I said I was gonna max my one, didn't I? Oh wait, it's okay because my F2 key doesn't work and it, I pressed F2 but it didn't didn't work. 
He's low on mana, but he does have that brew breath. Alright, he gave us the scepter. We're gonna full clear this wave and then we're gonna fight him. Oh, my winged shard. Yeah! Yeah! We dashed in and got ourselves a door. Bro, this is one of the reasons why I don't like playing hunters is because, well, I find them boring. But I can't help but wonder if one of the reasons why I find hunters boring is because my duel games are stomps, bro. And like, unless I go against like a really good player, I'm just gonna clear this way, bro. I don't even care. Which way is he gonna go? That way? Because he does have his ult, right? So. <laughs> Get out of here. Go, 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 go. 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 Go. Bro, it's just so wonderful being me. It's just so what? I bet this is good for stabbing. I bet this is good for stabbing. What do you mean, bro? You throw things. That's like a projectile. You can't stab people with a projectile. Like, technically, you can, but, like, that's not, like, the proper. You like impale them or whatever, right? Or like you. Anyways, whatever. Um, who says that? It's just so wonderful being me. Cause that was that was a smite voice line. Who says that? I think it's like. It's just so wonderful being me. Is that Ama? No wait, that's Circuit. Oh my god, I think that's a Circuit skin or it's default Circuit. Surely that's what it. Anyways, back to the game. Blast in this rock a kiss. Never saw it coming. Dude, are my autos hitting him? Because I feel like they're not. <laughs> I feel like bro is taking no damage. Get off me, sister. Oh, he could have just ran me over. I think that all would have killed me. Or at least put me to 1 HP. Bro could have just made me a... Uh, made me rogue kill right there. Dude, I might be the worst as an army player in all of dual history. Why am I staying to clear this wave? That is a great question. I don't know. I'm backing. Hopefully that goes under, under Phoenix, but it probably won't. It probably won't. Um, actually, actually, hmm. Yeah, I agree. I should just skip defense too, because like I'm skipping this item, right? But my third item would have been defense. So I guess we're also skipping defense and we're going to go crit. Why? I don't know. Cause I'm, cause I'm bad to the bone. Ba -na 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 -na. I am so freaky, but getting my critical strikes. Ba -na 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 -na. No one can stop me. Bro, that actually is one of like the hardest beats ever. Is that the right thing to say? Beats? I don't know. But that shit is it, it goes crazy, man. Be right back. Be right back. I bet this is good for stabbing. Yeah, we're getting a power pot with our crit. Why not? Why not, man? Also, did I just freaking freaking frack and just curse in my in my YouTube video, man? I never do that. Did I just say the the S word. OMG. Oh, my God. No, I'm just kidding. I, I don't really like try to follow this like rule of never, ever, ever cursing in YouTube videos. But it does like if you do it too much, it does like lower your uh, the amount of people it recommends the videos to. So I try not to do it a lot. Surprised I haven't done it more to be honest. Also, I think one of my nephews watches my videos, so L little nephew, if you're watching this video, you better not say that word, okay? God bless. Kidding, I don't think they watch all my videos, but they definitely watch some of them for sure. What, what is happening right now? Like, what are we doing with our lives, Mr. Lancelot? Like, what, I just want to know the plan. Strike at the heart of evil. I just want to know the plan. Also, why did I not ult that guy sooner? I probably could have killed him. I mean, I probably could have killed him in like 18 different ways, but 
I just chose to not because I'm an idiot. That's what happened. Why is Iza talking so much smack right now for no reason? Bro, why do I clear that rock so fast? I come up here and stop my bag. Yep, that's going to be the entire video today. Yeah, here's my prediction. Is this video is going to be a bunch of surrenders and maybe a loss. Like, I'm just going to stomp people and stomp people and stomp people until I go against someone who's better than me. And, like, especially better than my Iza. Probably playing another Hunter. Like, I'm going to go against, like, this Giga Chad Thernanos player and he's going to just pound me, bro. But, so it's just going to be a bunch of surrenders and then we're going to lose. That's what's going to happen here, boys. Calling it now. Appreciate you guys watching. I will skip you guys into the next game. All right, guys, we're into the uh, third match here. I think I picked a pretty good skin this time. I dripped out or what? I always like these like witch doctors here. Maybe that's not the right word for a witch doctor. Isn't that more like the voodoo man? What's this skin? Some sort of doctor. Some sort of evil, evil person. Evil dude, evil guy. Uh, some people probably want me to use the tier 5 skin because there's always a bunch of tier 5 lovers out there for whatever reason. And I don't know, depending on how many games I do, I mean, if I start running out of skins, maybe I'll use it. But for right this very moment, I'm in no rush to use it. Bro, look at... I feel like my waist is so big, bro. Like, what the fuck? Dude, look at me. Oh my god, that is insane. Holy moly. That is, that is absolutely crazy. Bro, I almost caught myself cursing again, dude. What is wrong with me today? Why, why am I just a curse overlord? This is a nice, family-friendly Christian channel, guys. Like, what the heck? At least I didn't know. I just said this. What the foo? What the foo? So that's fine. We just, wait, but that means F you? Which is also cuss- <gasps> No! No way I'm out here just cursing multiple times in multiple ways. That is insane, dude. She wouldn't just invade me, right? No, nah, she's a magician class. She's probably at her probably at her buff, you know what I'm saying? Like she wouldn't do that. She's at her blue breath. At my blue buff? She's at my blue buff! Now you get punished. That's what you get. Yeah, I just want you guys to know that every instinct in my body wanted me to spam laugh her right there. Because I think it's toxic to invade the blue like that. But I didn't for you guys. Because I just know you guys will hate me. Or at least a couple of you. You'd be like, why are you why are you being toxic? All she did was invade the blue buff. She's just trying to win, Bible Thump. She's just trying to win. Don't be so mean. She's just trying to win. Well, yeah, man. Well, I'm trying to win, too. That's why I'm spam laughing his corpse. Or why I would spam laugh his corpse. Because it would mentally diff him. You know, I was... Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. What? You, oh, my... <clears throat> Anyways. As I was saying. So, uh, you know what just hit me? I was obviously joking about what I was just saying a second ago, but... You know what hit me? Is how is it that people can say you are not allowed to make fun of someone invading or doing some sort of toxic method of winning because all they're doing is trying to win when if you spam laugh someone everyone hates that but what if there's an argument that says spam laughing makes you more likely to win because you tilt your opponent and you get in their head and they might even have six so it's like if you think about it spam laughing is a tactic to win the game but no one cares because it's spam laughing so why is it that all these people defend every other toxic way to play the game, but you're not allowed to spam laugh them? Because that's rude. What? I feel like that is... I feel like I'm cooking right now. I feel like I just broke the like, matrix. I feel like I just discovered Narnia. Like I actually just cracked the code. Just then and there. Alright, we're going for a second because we're against a magician class and I want to hit her with big red numbers and make her disintegrate into the air. That's my, that's my main goal. 
My main goal is to blow up and act like I don't know nobody. Act like I don't know nobody. Look at this little brute minion. Looking all thick. Looking all juicy. And you're dead. Should I wing shard this thing? Should I wing shard this bad boy? Nah, surely I wait for my uh, my one to come up and then I wing shard it, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. More bonus damage autos? Do I just commit? Do I just commit? Is that crazy? She has no augs. That's what you get. That's what you get for playing a magician. That's what you get, bro. That's what you get. You go against an Izanami and they start pounding you from the back. They start hitting it from the back. That's not a sex reference. I, w I was literally attacking her from behind her. Like I was, my character was positioned behind her. So I was hitting her like with my auto attacks from, from uh, behind her. Yeah. I was hitting her from behind with my auto attacks. Ba, 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 ba. Bro, this video has been all over the place, man. Like, what am I even talking about at this point? I haven't recorded in three days, and I haven't played Duel in three days. And I don't even know what I'm saying or doing anymore, man. Am I washed up? <clears throat> am I the worst Smite YouTuber now? Just tell me, guys. Tell me. Be like, listen, I used to watch you back in the day, just because you were cool. Now you're just so not cool. You know what I mean? Back in my day, just used to teach me how to play the game. Now he just slams noobs every day because everyone quit this game because this game sucks. And this game mode sucks. And now I go against these poopy players. And don't get me wrong. Some of these players are probably surprisingly higher ranked than you guys thought. Now, I don't know because I haven't looked them up. I could be wrong. You know, some days I really do be going against bronze players. But, okay. I think you guys would be very surprised because I've done it myself. I've had games where kind of like this one, honestly, where I all go like five and oh in five minutes and then I'll check their profile and they're like diamond one or they're in masters. And I'm like, oh, OK, <laughs> interestingly enough, you know what? Why not? Just for this game, we'll check his profile just for this one. We'll check his profile before I switch you over there. Let's see, are you bronze or are you high rank? He's level 100. That is not good. He is a platinum one player, guys. That is unfortunate that he got put into that lobby. That is unfortunate. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Hera player. I do apologize. And he's a mage main. Oh, he's got master sporters. Bro, what the heck? This guy's a friar. Oh my goodness. Okay, anyways, I'll skip you guys into the next game. Thank you for watching. Bro, I'm going to run out of skins if these games keep uh, being this short. Holy, holy moly. All right, guys, we're off into the fourth match. And we're against uh, Kabrakan. This guy had some pretty interesting bands, to say the least, so. We shall see how this game goes. We're using a different skin. We're kind of, we're, we're cheeked up this game. We're sexy. Sexy. We like being sexy. It's a good time. I'm gonna go horrific, even though I know. I'm just a horrific bot, bro. I just do this every game. Uh, even though I know that Kabrakin is slow immune during his one. But if he wants any chance at fighting me, he's gonna have to use his one on me, right? So. We'll simply horrific him after. Call it a day. Uh, here, let me let me mute so I can take a take a slurp out of my slurp juice here. We're slurping. We're slurping. Slurpy slurpy slurp. I feel like it's so boring in the beginning of the game. Like normally, I'm talking and explaining things, and sometimes I still do, but like. That's at the beginning of the of the video, right? When I'm doing these like extended videos where like I play multiple games, like when I'm doing the multiple game things, it's like I already explained a lot of what I want to explain. So I'm just gonna just kind of here yapping. I'm a yapper. Not getting a point in the three is like pretty greedy because if they ever like come around the corner to invade the red, and I don't have my jump, it's kind of tough. But same time, it is faster clear. It is more damage for the fight potential. So goes how it goes okay he was clearing so slow I kind of assumed that he uh no back off 
So we could just go straight to our blue and farm, but if we did that, he would get the he would be able to clear this minion wave and not miss any of it. Uh for free, right? So I'm just gonna push him back a little bit, make him take extra damage from the minions, make him lose a couple minions of gold. He didn't lose the archers, but better than nothing. I'm gonna pop my potions here because I think he's going to the small camp, yeah, or he's back in. Oh! Well, he used his one. Like I said he would. And now he's dead. Well, I'm not gonna pretend like. Okay. I'm not gonna pretend like I don't have easy games when I play, like, other classes, like, you know, like my top warriors and assassins, because I do have easy games, but I don't always kill them at, like, one minute. Like, I don't always just simply out clear and then kill them instantaneously in one minute. Like, that is something that does not always happen, okay? So, like, dude, hunters are so Mickey Mouse. Clubhouse, man. They're just so strong early. Especially ones like Yiza that can clear the wave instantly and then without even using their attack speed steroid. And then they just have their attack speed steroid ready for brawling. Pop a health potion here, blast this guy to the best of our abilities. We have a griffin wing now, so we can land our autos a little bit easier. He's also running in a very predictable, very predictable pattern. What? Are these? these auto attack noises are kind of, kind of horrible and amazing at the same time. I don't know how I feel about that actually. I did put three points into my two again. That apparently is the soft spot that I like to go for, apparently. I think two points in the two is probably better, but I always seem to put three points into it for whatever reason. Uh, we're gonna go crit. Um, it's not always consistent, but like I've said in the past, I typically just go crit versus, uh, I mean, sometimes I go crit, it's like almost always versus magicals and then usually versus hunters as well but not always versus hunters it's less consistent than when i'm versus uh magicals i just like to be able to match their burst damage that magical characters can put out magical characters have less consistent damage but more burst damage and i like to try to match that burst damage his slow immunity should wear off soon My ult would not kill him, so I'm not going to use it. Alright, we're going to pretend like we're going for red, and we're going to hit this dude with that stinky, that sticky, icky, sneak attacky, wacky. Yeah, I don't know, brother. I haven't played duel in three days, so I don't know. But maybe I'm coping. Maybe this is just another day of duel. Maybe it's always like this. But today feels real easy, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm just playing Hunters. I mean, it feels like the Medusa video, to be fair, and the Dons video, and pretty much any time I play a top tier Hunter, to be fair. Again, it's not exclusive to Hunters. I'm just saying it very consistently. Like, it always is Hunter. Like, it's not exclusive to them, but when I play a Hunter, it always goes like this. Maybe not always, but most of the time. I'd say the nut one didn't go like this because I didn't know how to play nut, right? But. Duel sucks, man. Just running through people all day long. Just pew pewing them. Pew pew, pew pew. Hello there. Wait, I want to heal up my tower. Come on, little buddy. There we go. Also, because people comment a lot, how do you heal the tower? Well, when you kill the rock, you pick up the scepter. The scepter is that little buff right next to my red buff and my quest icon. That little buff allows you to heal the towers. That's how. Bro. First and foremost, dual players suck and have absolutely no faith. But another thing I'll say is Izanami is so annoying to go against. Like, I feel their pain. Like, I truly do. Like, people do not want to play against this character, man. It's actually so boring and so annoying. And uh, yeah. so I, I don't even feel bad, bro. Honestly, like, or I, I don't uh, feel mad. I should say that they surrender. Like, I, I, 
If I were in that position and I was like a a little bit of a lower ranked dual player trying to rank up, trying to learn, and you go against an Iza and you're already down two kills at five minutes and she's critting you to death. Yeah, I would just give up to you, to be honest. I mean, I wouldn't because yeah, I have a lot of experience in duel and I play for the late game, right? But if I was less experienced, I'd probably be in the same boat, not going to lie. I'm going to go ahead and requeue. And, uh, dude, maybe this is just going to be another F6 month. I mean, like I, I, to be fair, I did predict that. But I did also predict that I was going to lose at least one game versus, like, you know, a better hunter player than me or something. And that hasn't come true yet, but we'll see. There's still time, you know? Go ahead and skip you guys into the next game. Thank you for watching. All right, guys, we're off into the fourth, fifth, whatever, whatever game this is at this point. Oh, yeah, it's Apricot. I don't remember this guy very well, but I feel like he's decent. Or he's at least better than the players I've been going against so far today. And this is a good matchup for him. So, like, this is the same thing with the Erlong situation. Um, I can win early game, give or take, a little bit. But uh, I, I truly do believe Gilga should win this matchup, especially if he goes like Arendite or something to chase me when I three and also to see me when I three. I do think Gilga can win this matchup relatively easily, to be honest. But they have to know how to play it. They have to know how to play it. That's a big thing. And people don't usually know how to play it. People kind of suck at this game. So. But Apricot, he's got a plat border, man. They don't just give out plat borders to nobody, okay? Now you gotta you gotta be somebody to get a plat border. Alright. So we'll see. We shall see. I was joking, by the way. You don't have to be somebody to get a plat border, but I don't know. Surely he's got some experience. He's played against an Iza or two, stomped him into the ground. He knows what he's doing. I'd be very surprised if he's starting. I'm gonna get my three, dude. I'm, I'm terrified, not gonna lie. I'd be very surprised if he's starting a blue buff over red, to be honest. Bro, he's actually starting the blue buff. Is that not insane? Like, that might be criminal behavior. Oh, wait, I'm scratching my arm. Oh, oh no, I moved my mouse when I was clearing the wave. That guy kind of beat me down, though, not gonna lie. Like, I feel like he wasn't taking that much damage, and I was taking that much damage, you know what I mean? He should just jump on me and beat me, beat me to death. But he's not really doing the beating part, he just did the jump part, interestingly enough. If he gets the smalls, he gets level 5. That was a terrible two by me. Wow, dude, my hand is so itchy all of a sudden. I think I got bit by a spider, bro. Wait, he jumped? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I tried to level my ult like 15 times there, I feel like. But I don't even know if I was level 5 the entire time I was trying to level my ult. <laughs> to be honest. But oh, whatever. He jumped in with a horrific. Did he even use this horrific? Chat, let me know. Uh, let, let me know, guys. Chat, tell me. Tell me when you watch this video later, so that way I know right now. It really help me, chat. Thank you. This is one of the reasons why streaming is kind of nice. One of the reasons is because your chat can help you. I'm not streaming right now, obviously. If that was if that wasn't obvious, I'll just let you know. I am not streaming. However. Wait, why do my auto attacks go through the rock when I pop my one? Wait. Wait a minute. Is that supposed to happen? Slowed him. Autoed him for 45. Big numbers here. Looks like he's picking up his passive. There it is. I don't know if he has this horrific or not. I don't want to like jump into him and then get blasted, bro. Looks like he's prioritizing clear. Smart by him. No, I missed autos. I missed autos. Oh. 
Dude, how is this guy surviving my onslaught of attacks? Like, how does that even make physiological sense, bro? Uh, we're gonna go to this start, because we're not against a magical or a hunter. We're probably just gonna get executioner for a big pen. Um, clearing that wave kind of like put me behind as far as getting to this red buff goes. But it did push a bunch of minions into tower, so that's gotta be valuable for some reason. Pop our one, which is maxed out now, so we do big boy damage. Jumping in because we're physiologically insane. Dude, if he gets away with murder here? Again? Pretty sure this game cheats, man. Now we got two points in the ult here, but like I don't really think we should go for a kill. I think it's good enough that he's gonna lose some minions here. Call it a day on that note. Bro, this skin is creepy, man. Just a little Izanami. Just a creep creepinami. But would it not be crazy to do this? Like, am I insane for this method of attack? Alright, Ease is a stupid character. What a stupid character. Oh my god, I just heard lightning. Or thunder, I should say. Oh my god, that's scary. I hope my power doesn't go out. Mid-recording. Please. Oh my god, dude, it's thundering so hard. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Dude, how is he alive again? Wait. I can't hit ease of auto attack. Okay, so easy, bro. I feel like it's actually insane that I just had a 100% hit rate there, like... Not everybody can play Izanami quite like me. It takes years of practice and Yeah, it's not it's not so easy just being the best there ever was all the time. But did he save his tower by doing that though? I don't even care, bro. It was worth it. I killed him. He got he got away too many times, man. It was worth it. He didn't get the rock. That's good. He is probably going to get that red buff there. But hey man, sometimes you got to make sacrifices. Sometimes you got to make... I could have backed immediately, but then he would get the rock and he would heal his tower. And like that my whole point was to get the tower there. And Wait, he hasn't gotten the red yet though. And I have defense now. He's going to be very shocked at how little damage he does to me in comparison at least to what he was doing. Okay, so he still hurts, but like I said, I didn't say he does little damage, I said he does little damage in comparison. Bro, his Anami autos are so weird, man. Also, why do I feel like this game is so loud? I mean, to be fair, I need to turn my headset volume down probably, but like, dude, when I killed that guy, him and Iza's voice lines were so freaking loud, man. So freaking loud. Oh my god. Sh Do you ever. Oh my god. I wanted her to stop talking, so I made her talk. How counterintuitive is that? I'm so stupid. These characters in, in the game talk way too much, man. And when they're like these creepy skins, that's part of why I don't use like the creepy crawly edgelord skins, is because their voices are just so annoying to listen to when they like, um. When they go on and on and on. Like. Bro, if you guys have ever played Cthulhu, and you, like, default Cthulhu, or like a recolor or a mastery skin, you know, has default lines. 
if you've never heard that before, do it today. I challenge you. Go into a jungle practice, pick Cthulhu, and then listen to him talk at the beginning. Like, the first things he says the moment he spawns in. It's so long and horrible, man. It's so horrible. It is so annoying. I'm going to go into a Kins, into a Silver Branch, because all we're looking to do is shred this warrior. We need pen, we need Kins, we need more pen, we need power. We need all that good stuff. Probably not going to look for a Bull Demon play or anything of the sort. So I get Kins, because that's going to be big for me, even though he doesn't have that much HP yet. But, I mean, okay, this dude's getting Shrek, what am I saying? I'm going to jump, and he's going to jump my jump. Alright, so I'm just a stupid idiot liar. I'm going for Bull Demon. Yes, of course. Okay. I need to turn around so I can see if he's coming. Yes, of course. Ooh. Oh my god, stop talking, dude. Just be quiet. She really spoke when I got the bull demon. I back, buy an item, and starts talking again. She's gonna talk when I use one spell watch. Okay, she didn't. Alright, turns out my Kins is hitting this dude for like zero, because he's super far behind. He's only level 13. I don't think it's that bad here though, to be fair. I could have went boomerang, that would have been decent. I could have went silver branch, that would have been decent. Honestly, it probably would have been better than Kins, but I don't regret my decision that much, I'll be honest. It ain't that deep to me. Kins is still fine. That dude's still dead, so. And then he F6s. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, I mean. Dude. I'm gonna run out of. Is an army skin? I'm gonna have to use the tier 5 skin, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna skip you guys into the next game. Next game, probably my last one for sure, because I think I have. This is. This was like, what, the fourth game? Maybe the fifth game? I don't know. So I'm definitely not going to do more than one more, but I am going to queue. I'm probably going to skip this queue because uh, I don't want to go against the same person. Although he's not even here. So yeah, whatever. I'm going to hit this queue. I'll skip you guys into the next game. Thank you for watching. All right, guys, we're off into the final game. I think this is game six. I think I just looked at my recordings and I think I had five of them. I think this is game six. I don't know. We're using the tier five. Why not? I think this is a tier five skin, right? I don't know. I've actually never used this skin before. I don't even remember getting it. Uh, also, one thing I want to say is like... I'm running out of time, and this is kind of a the show must go on situation. We're against a Cthulhu, a console Cthulhu, so this probably is not going to be that competitive of a game. But also, um, dude, it is raining so hard right now. It's storming, and I can hear it pretty well. I hope you guys can't hear it that well. And then, or if if you can't, if you guys can hear it, hopefully you guys just don't care. But like, yeah, dude, it it, it is raining. It is it is raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. Oh, what is that? Bro, am I crazy? Or do I am I the only one that feels like sometimes when they give characters specials, it is the biggest waste of time I've ever seen. What is that? That that is not special, dog. Ooh, twirly! Look at me, I'm doing the twirly! Wee! Bro, that is the Oh my god. And, and there's the the worst part is there's skins that have even worse specials than that one. Like there's even worse specials, man. I don't understand it at all. Cause it, it costs them money to make those animations. That's the reason why they stopped making dance emotes, by the way. They said it didn't make them enough money. They said it costed them more money to make the dance emotes than they make off of them. So it costs money to make these anime Bro, it is raining so hard I can barely hear myself think. I need to turn my headset down. Dude, I really hope that it's not going through my mic. It's freaking storming, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, this dude just popped his potions. He wants to fight. I'm popping my potions too. What up? What up, G? What up, Squidward? What do you think you got what it takes? Take on the champ? The six-time back-to-back tournament champion? Ow. Oh my god, he's taking me on, actually. Yeah, turns out I'm just the best. 
Turns out no Cthulhu could possibly take on the six-time back-to-back tournament champion. Be right back. Bravo. Bravo. Wait, why did my skin change? I mean, I know it's a tier five, right? So it changes, but I don't know how it changes. Oh wait, did it even change? Maybe it didn't actually. Maybe I was like this already. I don't know how this one changes though. I don't know if it's like when you ult, like as some skin. Oh wait, I think it's when you three. Oh, I, I like just randomly unlocked the memory. Because I was like saying, like, some tier fives do it when you use your dash. Let me see. Oh, I'm so ugly now. I hate this. I need my three to come back up. Holy. Bro, I think it's crazy that when you pop your one, you still get two ticks on this and your autos go through the rock. Like, that is so dumb, bro. The rock is so stupid. They did not take very much time coding that thing at all. All right, what, what am I transforming into here? On back to this this hot, smoking hot red chick. Let's go. Let's go. I'm a red chick. I'm a red chick. No problem. Bro, I really just be yapping in these videos sometimes, huh? Just be on that yappinator. That yappy. Oh no. I'm in danger. Bro, Cthulhu is a broken character. I mean, I feel like everyone knows that by this point, you know what I mean? Like, like if that doesn't just prove that that character is simply broken, like this is actually a counter matchup for me, I'm pretty sure. Now, honestly, oh, well, I mean, obviously I was joking about Cthulhu being OP, but also that wasn't even Cthulhu. That was Bancroft's bro. He got, he owned me with that Bancroft's. He was healing, healing. He was damaging, damaging. He owned me with that Bancroft's. Holy moly. Cause he was low HP. Holy moly. Also, I took a little bit of Archer damage, although that's not really that much to be fair. That's not really that much. Just a wee bit Archer damage. Wait, he just used his, his buff secure. Busto. Should I be putting points in my ult before I level max my one? Wait, this thing goes up by a hundred damage. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. I should have been leveling that. Oh, hello. Dude, I need to level my ult. 100 damage is a lot. And a little bit of fear duration too, but 100 damage is so much. Give me these chesty boys. Got all three. It's too easy, me and me. It's just so wonderful being me. He used this shell while he's horrific. I'm gonna dash over here. He's gonna ult me. I'm gonna die. Why does she sound like that? Why? Why does she sound like that though? No one will. Have... All right. I'm gonna just completely ignore what I said earlier, and I'm gonna put end a point into my one instead of my ult, anyways, because I do what I want. <laughs> All right. We got crit, and we got a power pot. That means we're going to start slaying. He's never going to expect this this amazing uh, power spike here. Doing way more damage than we were before. I'm on you, 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 I'm off you. I'm diving your tower. I missed... Probably shouldn't have been that scared of his ult. I was also scared of the tower, but... Oh my god, I'm just stuffing this thing. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, you like that. I know you like that. I'm blue by my body. Well, I'm actually red, but... Basically blue, if you think about it. I'm blue my... Wait, I just realized, does this scepter reveal me when I stealth? It does, huh? Too bad I don't care about that. Too bad that simply doesn't even bother me because I'm too powerful for it to bother me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go Aussie or if I'm going to go Exy here. It is a Guardian, but he has Glad Shield. I mean, he's probably going to go double defense with that Glad Shield, though. So, hmm. And Anti-Heal Exy could 
do well versus his Finkrofts. I don't know though. I feel like the Aussie is really good for like the all in. And he's probably not going to go. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll go Executioner. Fine. Whatever, dude. I mean, I did predict he's going to go double defense with Glad Shield. I just kind of thought it would be like one item later, you know? No, you better not escape, bro. Oh my god, you're such a tryhard. Like, let me just let me kill you. <laughs> Gosh, don't you just hate it when your opponents don't let you kill them? It's so annoying. Alright, red buff executioner, and we still have our red pot. Ooh. Ooh, this spike is gonna be dirty. I'm actually not gonna get a second relic on purpose. Because I want to keep my wing shard for now. What's my attack speed when I pop my one? Because I need to know that because I don't really... Like, I'll probably waste... Okay, yeah. If I pop my wing shard during my one, it's kind of a waste. I should use it when my one's down. That way it's like I have two attack speed steroids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm blue, baba -dida. Hello there, Squidward. How are you this morning? I'm ready. I'm ready. Promotion. Get back here, Squiddy. Me and Patrick just want to talk. What is this noise? Can you guys hear that? Like, in-game. Listen. What is the noise? Does this character just have an aura? Is that Scepter? Is it the skin? What is going on? It's like a Cupid passive. You guys know what I'm talking about? How Cupid, like, when his passive is stacked, he makes noise. Ult, you coward. Oh, I caught my one at the wrong time. Or my wing shard at the wrong time, rather. Aya. 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 Oh, that is unlucky timing, my friend. Uh, <laughs> uh, and we <laughs> there is no way, brother. There is no freaking way. All right. Without further ado, I think we're going to skip into the build portion. Although you guys. I think you guys have a very good idea what I build on Izanami because you just saw me play her like six times. But you didn't see me get to late game, but big surprise if you keep up with the videos and you watch them a lot. You probably know what I'm going to give you as a recommended build here because it's very similar to the other Hunter builds that I pretty much always go. Right, the only thing that really changes for the most part, not the only thing, but here let me tab out and mute my smite so you don't, guys don't have to listen to this background noise of Iza doing weird stuff. All right, so I always go Griffin Wing first every single game. I get like I get like three of these bad boys. I get like boom, be like boom, boom. So that's my that's my start. Well, tier two Griffin Wing, but whatever. So, but the actual build is almost always going to be uh, Griffin Wing into either Aussie or Executioner or Crit. Which one I go? depends on the situation if it's a magical or even a hunter i like to go bladed boomerang i think it's very powerful if it's a tanky 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 boy i like to go executioner and then sometimes i just go aussie because i don't know man it just seems fun you know what i mean but it's usually xc or boomerang but like sometimes i just go aussie to switch things up you know what i mean why not um so which one should i recommend to you guys i don't know man i'm just gonna put what i build okay you guys decipher however you guys want to then we go into the berserker shield or the shoguns that we'll put down here for the magical characters that we're against um i was like did i build berserker shield versus cthulhu i didn't even have defense did i huh but i usually go defense third if i'm snowballing really hard and i feel like i don't need defense then you don't have to you can also get aussie as like pseudo defense it's not defense but it does give you sustain so i mean in a way it's like kind of defensive in that regard but pretty much go that into that and then if i don't have if I don't have XE by this point, I usually get XE. Um, actually, it depends. It really depends, actually, now that I think about it. Because 
If you're against a tanky character and you didn't go XE first, I'd probably go XE here for against like a tanky character. Okay, sorry, I had to mute there. And then like this is okay, let me against a tanky character, let me put it this way. Okay, yeah, let's let's separate it into two builds. I'd say I'd probably go, all right, let's see my attack speed. I probably would go either, yeah, I'd probably go double crit. In most games, you don't have to go double crit if you don't want to. Um, I'll give you an option for that. Just one moment here. In most games, we're probably going to get this. You could also go Malicious Deathbringer too. It gives you cooldown back on your jump when you jump away or you jump in. Definitely not a bad decision, but I prefer this one. Um, if you're not really like a big crit Andy, but you went the boomerang because you think it's OP because I told you it's OP, you got options. Here you go. You go boom, you go boom. So this first variation is what I would build most of the time against tanky characters. Maybe switch out the boomerang for the XE, swap them around, you know. But this is what I would build most of the time. But I know a lot of you guys don't always love the crit builds. So another alternative is you could just go Aussie, XE. Uh, or, oops, Aussie, this, 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 this. You could do that. That'd be perfectly fine. Just not my play style, personally, against your tankier characters, right? Um, now, I'm actually not going to put more items on here. I'm just going to show you guys down here below. You know, I'm going to put it on the build thing. So when you're not against the tanky character, I would go Bladed Boomerang into defense. And then here, you could go Silver Branch forth, but I don't think it has that much value. Um, if you're against like a squishier god, you could probably just go Aussie here into Silver Branch into Deathbringer. Honestly, you don't need that much pin versus squishy gods like hunters and mages that don't have double defense. You really don't. The problem with this is you don't always know if they're going to go double defense or not, especially if you're building crit. Sometimes they go double defense. Um, but you could always, if they go double defense, you could always build Executioner last and then sell your Aussie or something of that nature. Yeah, you could sell your Aussie for Deathbringer or you could go Deathbringer last and then sell your Aussie for XE either way. But even if they did go double defense, this build right here would be fine into it. And you're just going to be better off with the executioner. Also, if you need to anti heal, I, if you need ex anti heal really badly, I should say, I do not think you need anti heal versus an Aussie. By the way, if you're Hunter V Hunter, Hunter V Hunter, they have Aussie. You don't need anti heal. You do not need it. You do not need anti heal. Okay. Uh, but if you're against like an Anubis, or any 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 character that's going Bancrofts, Typhons, especially, you want anti-heal, so you get the XE. But this is just your little uh template on how to build. You guys can truly do whatever you want with these items. These are the only items I would recommend. Uh honorable mention, dominance, but in my opinion, Silver Branch kind of takes the place of dominance in a lot of these builds when you're going a, a stem hunter, an auto attack stem. So you can build this in whichever order you want, whichever items you want. Me personally, most builds, I mean, I do go XE first a lot, but most builds I do go boomerang at some point. I always go silver branch on this character. I always go into attack speed, defensive item, and I usually get Deathbringer. These items are more honorable mentions that I go sometimes. Although I did build them a couple times in this video, but like I said, generally speaking, I like to go these items. Uh, you can go in whatever order uh, you want, right? Appreciate you guys watching the video. Just another F6 montage of me playing Izanami. Uh, or me playing a hunter, I guess. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.